Hello everyone, this video is the second part of the topic adjectives. So those who have not watched part one of adjectives, please watch that before continuing with this video. I have provided the link in the description. Now we can look at the usage of some adjectives which will also be useful for the same purpose. First is later, latter, latest and last. So here the word later and latest both of these are used to refer time later and the latest are used to refer time and latter and last is used to refer position so we can look into the example so you get a better idea of that Example, he is later than I expected. Right. The latter chapters are boring so here later means it's actually referring the time that is he is later than i expected i expected some time but he is later than that and the word latter is used for the position the latter chapters means the the chapters after uh, we have read some chapters and the chapters after that uh, pages that is the latter chapter the latter chapters are boring it, it actually refers to the positioning and later and latest actually refers to the time like um, ours is the last house in the street so here the uh, position of the house is discussed using the word last so last is helpful for describing the position while latest is i have not heard the latest news i have not heard the latest news so here the word latest is used to mean the time so the um, usage of later and latest is used to describe the time while latter and last is used to describe the position next we can discuss about the word elder older eldest oldest these are the comparative and positive degree forms of the word old old have two forms of comparatives and superlatives that is elder eldest and older oldest so actually elder and eldest are used only of persons and not of any animals or things elder and eldest are used only for persons also they should be confined to members of the same family elder is not used with than following and older and oldest are used of both persons and things older and oldest are used for both persons and things and elder and eldest are used only for persons and that too of the same family same family only okay like for example john is my elder brother here elder is used to compare persons of the same family so john is my elder brother but can say um, but elder cannot be used for uh, things or animals and all it can be used for persons but we can say this is the oldest temple in Kolkata. 
here oldest can be used with things or any animals or anything but elder can be used only for persons and also if the persons are not not of same family you use the word older that is rema is older than harry by two years so here we use the word older because they we are not considering uh, persons of the same family so we are using the word older instead of elder so that is the use case of use case of elder older eldest and oldest next we have father and further so father and further are actually used to uh, express distance but the word further is also used to mean additional like for example Kolkata is father or you can use further also because both of them are used to express distance that is further from from equator from the equator than uh, Colombo so Kolkata is farther or further you can use both of them farther or further from the equator than Colombo but if we uh, mean um, if we mean it is additional uh, uh, if you used it to mean additional you need to use the word further that is um, for example after this he made no further remarks here you can use only the word further because it means in addition um, like uh, I must have a reply without further delay here also you can use only further because it means in addition to but in the case of uh, uh, distance and all you can use both farther or further next word is nearest and next So nearest means the shortest distance away and next refers to one of uh, sequence of things coming one after the other. For example, Mumbai is the seaport nearest to Europe. So here the word nearest is used uh, so that it means a short distance away. That is the usage of nearest. But we use next when um, my uncle lives in the next house. That is uh, the word next is used when you have a sequence of things you have a sequences of houses there and my uncle's house lives in the next house that is uh, in that sequence of houses our uncle's house is the next one or one after the other you have houses and um, my uncle's is the next one that is uh, to refer to the order or the sequence of the things you use the word next while nearest is used when uh, you need to say that it is a short distance away. You also have examples like where is the nearest phone box. So which phone box is the nearest short which phone box is in the shortest distance away. That is the uh, so we can use here nearest. But um, his shop 
is next to the post office. Here we have a sequence of buildings and you need to um, you need to uh, express that his shop uh, in that sequence his shop is the next one or his shop is next to the post office. So you have a sequence of buildings and you need to say the position of this shop in that sequence then you use the word next. So it will be more clear when you study the examples. So next word is some and any. So usually some is used in affirmative sentences. Affirmative sentences means um, sentences with positive meaning and any is used in negative sentences or interrogative sentences uh, for examples. Example, I will buy some mangoes. So this is an affirmative sentence and that case you can use the word some and for uh, for example of a negative sentence is I will not buy any mangoes. In that case you will need to use the word any. So here for positive sentence we use this word some and if a negative sentence then we can use the word any and any can be also used if it is a interrogative sentence like have you bought any mangoes interrogative sentence or questions uh, in that case also you can use any have you bought any mangoes and here we have already told that some is used for positive sentence and any is used for negative sentence. You can use any in the positive sentence also. When, if uh, that sentence contains the word if, you should use the word if in that sentence. For example, if you need any money i will help you so this is a positive uh, sentence but you can use any if you have the word if in front of it then you can word, use the word any in the positive sentences also uh, in other cases it is only used in negative sentences and interrogative sentences and some is also used for sentences with offers or requests like uh, will you have some ice cream it's actually an offer so here you can use the word some will you have some ice cream or request like uh, could you lend me some money there also you can use the word some so offers and requests also we use some and for positive sentence also we use some we use any in negative sentences interrogative sentences and in positive sentences or affirmative sentences also if it is um, accompanied by the word if next is each and every so each and every uh, are actually similar in meaning but every is a stronger word than each every means each without exception each is used in speaking of two or more things each is used for speaking of two or more things and every is used only in speaking of more than two every is used only for speaking of more than two while each is used for speaking of two or more things in either case you can use but every is used only in speaking of more than two. He just used either in speaking of two or more than two things. But every is used only in speaking of more than two. And each, the word each directs attention to the individuals forming any group. Well, every directs attention to the total group we are uh, talking about any group then the word each actually if we say um, each one of these chairs is broken 
it means we are directing the attention to each chairs each of the chairs each of the chairs that but every like um, it rained every day during my holidays then it 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 actually means that group that whole group that is you can uh, get an idea through example like five five boys were seated on each bench here here you can see that uh, you take the case of all the benches in that and all those benches have five boys each so each bench has five boys but when we say it rained every day during my holidays so here every is used means every means uh, it actually means the whole holidays as a group but if we are using each means we need to uh, we need to be uh, attentive of each bench each bench there will be five boys it's for sure but if we are um, using the word every then it means uh, the uh, ho the whole holidays as a group not as individual days it's it's pointing out the whole holidays as a group that is the main difference between each and every next we have a very important usage that is little a little and the little you should be very careful about these three words little the meaning of little is not much means um, it actually has a negative meaning means there is, there is no there is nothing uh, uh, the real meaning is nothing or not much it's it, it actually has a negative meaning there is there is little hope for his recovery so here it actually means as he is not likely to recover it is a it has a negative meaning there isn't any chance for his recovery so that's why we are using the word little but a little means you have some some no not much but you have some for example um there is a little hope of his recovery there is a little hope of his recovery here it is of sorry ah, there is a little hope of his recovery here you have some chance so we can use the word a little bit uh, here little has negative meaning but a little has a positive meaning means it has uh, uh, there is a little chance means there is some small chance is there for his recovery he may possibly recover there is some possibility and the word the little means not much but all this you have uh, you don't have so many of it but whatever is there that is what the meaning the little that is the the little information he had was not quite reliable
so here the little information he had was not quite reliable means the little the little information means he don't have uh, so much information whatever information he has not much but whatever information he has the small quantity of information he has was not reliable that is what the little means so little has a negative meaning while a little and their little is a positive meaning a little means some uh, some but not much the little means not much but whatever you have the little means whatever you have and next one is um a uh, few a uh, few the few few a uh, few the few is very but similar to little a uh, little and the little by little is used for uncountable nouns and few is used for countable nouns i have already described what are countable and uncountable nouns in my previous session so please watch that video on nouns before watching this video so few is used for countable nouns while little is used for uncountable nouns and it is as it has a similar meaning like few means it has a negative meaning that is not many there isn't any like few persons can keep a secret here the word persons is a countable noun so we use few instead of little and the meaning few has a negative meaning it means no persons can keep a secret is what it means and we use the word few because it is a countable noun instead of little and a few means similar to a little that is some so it has some po it has a positive meaning similar to a little like a few words spoken in in earnest will convince him so this is very similar to a little and then we have the few which means not many but whatever you have it is very similar to the little uh, like for example the few remarks that he made were very suggestive So this is the different forms of few few a few and the few it is very similar to little a little and the little so few and little have uh, negative meanings while a few a little and the few the little have positive meanings so these are the different uh, use cases or usage of some common adjectives you can use these examples to get a clear idea of these or uh, uses of these adjectives so that is uh, that was what about adjectives so i think um, you have a, now you have a clear idea on adjectives different rules related to adjectives and i have also uh, given so many examples please refer that example so you get familiar with all those uh, rules and different forms forms of comparisons of adjectives and all so hope you like this section please like share and subscribe my channel for more videos and if you want notes based on this uh, adjectives uh, with all these examples and all please comment so that i can provide the notes in my telegram channel so please comment if you and anyone of you want the notes okay thank you